depending on the type of breach, the type of information that uh, was exposed, there are a couple of things that you can do. For example, you can start by assessing the type of information that was exposed. If it's financial information, then of course, contact your bank, renew your credit cards. If it's um, uh, like your social security number, there's nothing you can do there but set up some um, monitoring to see whether somebody else is uh, use, creating a fake identity or impersonating you uh, using your own uh, social security number. Um, also, again, depending on the type of a breach, it's, it might be wise to reset your passwords. Uh, sometimes attackers will, uh, if, depending on how those passwords were stored, uh, attackers might, may try to gain access over your accounts. Um, and if there's some sort of um, medical data that was exposed online, again, you should probably set up some sort of monitoring service to make sure that none of the, that information is being used for identity theft or impersonation. Uh, data breaches have a cascading effect. Uh, they often start with uh, um, email addresses and uh, usernames or passwords, but if not uh, identified and uh, plugged in uh, in a very, very short uh, time frame, they can cascade in uh, uh, having more accounts compromised uh, than we usually bargain for. So uh, first line of defense would be uh, when uh, a data breach happens, uh, users should change uh, automatically all the passwords associated with that with that username or email address uh, that uh, prevents uh, account takeovers hijacking or uh, prevents uh, longer lasting effects like uh, uh, somebody uh, sending out messages or emails on our behalf to friends family or uh, employees another important thing would be to uh, announce to, to to call the bank uh, when uh, uh, accounts or uh, when uh, uh, credit card information gets uh, leaked out. Uh, the sooner we plug the hole, uh, the sooner we have uh, the credentials uh, changed or uh, credit cards revoked, um, the, the less likely it is for cyber criminals to be able uh, to use uh, that information for fraud. <laughs>